What is up team? Welcome back to Worked and welcome back to the RIP program. We're on day eight. We got another full body workout on the books for today. Let's hop into the warm up and I'll walk us through our first circuit. We're gonna start off with some toe touch squats. So normal squat stance, try to keep those legs straight, reach down, grab the front of your toes, pull your butt down, get that chest up, and then drive back up for 10 reps. So a little stretch in those hamstrings, chest up. It's a little bit like a deadlift motion at the hips, bending at the knees, dropping that butt. 10 reps. From there, we're going into 10 good mornings, body weight. Feet a little closer together, hands behind your head, hips go back towards the wall. Low back stays nice and flat, 10 reps. Push your butt back, slight bend in the knees. Think about squeezing the glutes at the top. We're going three inchworms with a push up and a rotation after that. So start at the bottom of your mat, walk out to a plank, push up, bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand and rotate up towards the ceiling, letting that left hip drop towards the ground. Put the right foot back, left foot forward, rotate up. Walk back in. We're going three times through, team. Big stretch in that hip flexor and chest. Whew. Now we're going into 20 jumping jacks. Then 10 big arm circles forward. Head in reverse and we'll get into it. Our first circuit up. Two movements, super simple, very similar to Monday's workout. 60 seconds for each move. 20 seconds of rest between each movement. 40 seconds rest between rounds. Like I said, two moves. Our first move, we're going dumbbell deadlifts into our double arm row. So, we're setting up feet a little narrower than a squat stance. Toes pointed out a little bit. Hold on one second. And we're gonna go into the bottom of our deadlift and hit a row at the bottom. So, dumbbells stay at your sides. Shoulder blades back in together, so a nice tall posture. Slight bend in the knees. Push your butt back towards the wall, get a nice stretch in those hamstrings and glutes. When you hit the bottom, you're gonna row up towards your hips. Let those arms come slow back, stand back up. What's up, Jorge? So, from the front, push those hips back, head stays neutral, row, stand back up. Think about pushing through the heels when you're standing back up out of that deadlift. We're going 60 seconds. Then you're gonna do a 20 second rest and we're gonna do skaters for 60 seconds. So skater, starting at the end of your mat, you're on a slight bend of knee, jump, land on soft knees, back and forth. The further you jump, the harder it is. So if you wanna get comfortable, you can go here to here. Make sure you're landing on soft knee, absorbing with your hip and your knee. Making it a little easier, you can put the other foot down behind you if you don't wanna stabilize with that one leg. Those are our two movements, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We got a strength movement compared with a little bit of a cardio, athletic movement. Any questions, guys? Let's do it. How's the music level? Is it good? Bump it up. Bump it up a little? All right. All 
Uh, 10 second countdown team. I'm going 50s on my deadlift in rows. In four, two, one. Let's work. Hips back, bro. Nice and slow back up. Think about pulling back towards your hip.20 seconds. Nice deep breath. Find a nice pace. 60 seconds is a longer interval, so don't go too hot. on that quality of this deadlift. Shoulder blades back in together. Hit the bottom position. Row back towards your hips, not towards your shoulders. Stand back up. Seven seconds, team. Three, one, let's work. So dumbbells close to the legs, right by your side. Abs tight. Halfway. Woo! breath. Find your rhythm here. Nice pace. You can keep it up for the full 60. Three, two, one. Let's work.
Halfway. Fifteen. Eight. Woo. Boots on fire. One. Rest. Oh. All right, team. Final circuit through. Forty seconds rest. I'm gonna go 40s on my deadlift of rows. Low back's getting tired, upper back's getting tired. If you're keeping that tight deadlift position with the back, that whole back is working the whole time. Modify down if you need to. 10 seconds, team. Last round through. Two, one, let's work. Slow down, find that position. Woo, 30 seconds. Same format coming up to the second round, the second circuit. 60 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest, 40 between rounds. We're just going unilateral this time. So it's the same movement, just done on the right side and the left side. We're going dumbbell snatch into overhead lunge. So I may start with 25. You're gonna snatch it up overhead, so a snatch. Weights on the right hand, a little bit of bend in the knees, chest stays vertical. So don't bend over because you're going to pull. You're going to be doing an upright row and snapping it overhead. So here, keeping that dumbbell close to the body, pulling up, rotating over, locking it out overhead. Elbow should be locked out right next to your ear, bicep next to ear in a straight line. From there, we're going to reverse lunge on the right leg. So this is the hardest variation, guys. So elbow locked out, reach towards the ceiling with your traps and shoulders, down nice and slow, let that knee touch, drive back up, down to the shoulder, reset. So snatch, reverse lunge, whatever weight, whatever hand the weight is in is the hand you're gonna do the lunge on. 
the leg that's doing the work, it stays forward. A modification is do that snatch, drop it down to the shoulder, and do a reverse lunge on the shoulder. A lot of people don't have the mobility to hold that hand directly overhead and do a reverse lunge. So if you find your hand here, drop to the shoulder because you're just putting unnecessary strain on your shoulder, taking away from the leg work that we're trying to do. <clears throat> so we're gonna go right side 60 seconds, left side 60 seconds. I'm gonna start with the 25 and bump it up from there if I'm feeling good. This snatch though, think about dragging that dumbbell close to the body, almost like you're lifting your shirt up and the momentum from your legs and hips drive it up and you snap it overhead, lock out that elbow hard. And when I say bring the shoulder towards the step, I'm talking about shrugging up at the top. You're reaching, trying to get that bicep near your ear. Any questions guys? We got 25 seconds, let's get it. The overhead position on the lunge is probably gonna be the limiting factor here. So go as heavy as you can handle on that. Actually, the whole thing, the snatch too, is difficult. Normal squat stance on a snatch, drive up. Palm always facing the head at the top. Three, two, one, work. Snatch. Bring it down, reset. Take your time. If you feel like you're gonna drop the dumbbell, drop it down to your shoulder before you do the lunge. Any loss of control. Twenty seconds. Ten. Five, three, two, and rest. 20 seconds, team. Woo! We're going the same exact thing on the left arm. 40 seconds rest. Five, three, two, and work. Keep that elbow locked out on that snatch. Reach towards the sky. Huh. Come on. Two. One. Rest. Woo. 40 seconds. Switching sides. Now ask yourself, how was your form on that? Unless it was absolutely perfect, Stay the same weight or drop it. I felt really good. I'm gonna try a 30 to start. See how it goes. Fifteen seconds. We're going back to the right arm. Start picking it up. Five, three, one. Let's work. Separate those feet when you're doing the snatch. Bring them a little closer together when you're doing the lunge.
We're building shoulder strength, core hip mobility, shoulder stability for sure. 20 seconds. Ha. Ha. Use those legs on the snatch. They should be doing most of the work. Two. And rest. Switching sides. Whew. The momentum from the legs, guys, is what's driving it up to here. That shoulder's taking over at the last second. Four. Three. One. Let's work. Noel, drop that down to the shoulder. When you, before you do the lunge, drop it here. Five, three, one, rest. 40 seconds, guys. Whew. One more round through. Huh. Thirty seconds. Here we got left. I might try forty. I'm gonna go forties. Let's see how it goes. Come on, team. Unless you're comfortable, don't bump up. Ten seconds. And really, it's not so much getting overhead, it's keeping this locked out position. That's the hardest position. Three, one, right arm, last one. Snatch. Takes a lot of concentration, focus. Take your time, if you're using a heavy weight especially. Drop the weight if you need to. Whew. 
got the heart rate up. All right, same format team. 60 seconds, two movements. 20 seconds rest in between each, 40 between rounds. We're doing alternating arm press, uh, sorry, alternating arm dumbbell thrusters. So, two dumbbells. I'm gonna go 25 to start. My shoulders are shot. Actually, I'm going 20 as a start. See how this first round goes. <laughs> so, feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed out, dumbbells up on your shoulders. You can bring them together at the bottom if you want more stability. Kind of helps just to keep it locked in. You're going all the way down, coming up, pressing the right arm. Back down, down, left arm. We want to be in that same position at the top. Bicep right near your ear, arm locked out overhead, body in a nice straight line. That's movement number one. We're just going to alternate back and forth arms on the presses. So it's not two separate sets. We're just going right then left every squat. From there, we're going into 60 seconds of hellish bear crawls. So we're down in our bear position, knees off the ground, hands right into your shoulder joints. You want your knees about two inches off the ground at the max, and you're gonna move opposite hand, opposite foot, keeping your hips and knees low to the ground. You're gonna walk forward and backwards. A modification, if you can't do that or you get too tired, is just try to hold a bear position. So this position, and then just elbows spun back, lift your knees off the ground and hold it for as long as you can in that 60 seconds. Even if you gotta take little breaks, that's okay. Push yourself though. Any questions? Two moves. Alternating arm thrusters, bear crawls, forward and backwards. Come on. Warmed up now. Let's get it. We only got one more circuit after this. A little core action. Thirty seconds, team. Let's get ready. Grab your weight. I'm gonna start with twenties. If I start feeling a little better, a little stronger, I may throw it. I'll jump up to 25s or 30s, but shoulders are pretty toasty after that last set. 10 seconds, team. Let's start setting up. I wish this beat dropped perfectly. Five, three, two, one. Let's work. Nice deep squat, keep that chest up. You can use the heel wedges here if you want. If you find your heels coming up off the ground, wedge them up on something. Sixty seconds, a lot of squats. Come on. Don't come down, finish strong. 
Three, two, one. Rest. Woo! Now I'm sweating. Oh. Give myself some more room for these uh, bears. Twenty seconds. I'm staying rocking with these twenties. No. How we doing? Eight seconds, guys. We're back to thrusters and alternating presses. Pick them up. Two. One. Let's work. Oh, everything hurts after those crawls. You guys, but this set feels 10 times harder than the last one. <laughs> Got Jeezy. Oh. A couple seconds rest. We've got 20 seconds left. Keep grinding, team. Just me. <laughs> Bear crawls, come on. Two, one, let's work. I know it hurts. Keep those fingers pointed forward. Set a plan. I'm going back and forth. One, two, count, right back into it. if you need to. Try to keep moving. Two, one. Let's work. Ha! Drive. Try to zone out. This is our last round, team. Let's go. Two, one, 
two, one, let's work. One, two. format this last round 20 on 10 off four movements 30 seconds rest between each round our first move plank hip lifts for 20 seconds so we're in our plank position on our elbows tucking that tailbone towards your chin slowly letting those legs go down and touch the floor and then using your abs to pull you back up so it looks like this plank position tuck that tailbone Slowly lower the hips and drive back up. Try not to press through your shoulders too much. The shoulders are pretty fatigued at this point. It's gonna be hard not to, but focus on the abs doing the work. That's our first move. We're staying in that plank position. And now we're gonna do plank side hip taps. So your feet are together. You're gonna rotate over, let the right side tap, the left side tap. So it looks like this. Your elbows are a little wider this time, feet are together. You're gonna to rotate, feet go inside of each other, touching back and forth. If you struggle with either of these movements, just hold a regular plank for 20 seconds. From there, we're coming up onto the hands. Elbows locked out, hands right underneath your shoulder joint, keep a nice tight plank, it's bridge position, and we're going mountain climbers, bringing that knee up and across the body. For 20 seconds, a modification is to step in and step out. Final movement is a hollow body crunch. So, you're on your back, hands are at your side, feet are off the floor, chest is up. You're driving your knees and your chest together, and then back out. Upper back never fully touches, legs never touch. And drive back out. If you get too tired and you can't do that anymore, you can do just... You can use your hands to assist. So you're kind of meeting in the middle. We're going from the hollow body position, which is peels off the ground, upper back off the ground, tight core, accordioning in together. Those are our four moves, team. Any questions? Let's do it. All right, we're gonna go into something. All right, Pam. We're going to hell on this one. Five. Let's go. Two. One. Plank hip lifts. Use that core. Two. One. Rest for 10, we're back in the plank. Elbows wide, feet together. Plank side, hip taps. In three, two, one, work. You'll listen the obliques. Seven. Two, one. Rest. Woo! Mountain climbers team. 
Hands under your shoulders. Let's work. Come on. Use that core. Drive that knee across. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Rest. On your back. Woo! Hollow body crunches. Oh, this feels good. One, work. Eight. 
Two, one, press on your back, hollow body crunches. Three, two, one, work 20 seconds. Five, three, two, one, and done. Nice work, team. Nice work, Zim. Zim in here. You guys killed it. That was a rough one, actually. It didn't look so bad on paper. It was harder than I thought. You guys have an awesome rest of your Thursday. We'll be back tomorrow with an upper body day. Day nine of the RIP program. Have a great Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place.